In this video, we play one of the most bizarre looking vehicles that I've ever seen, and it's capable of firing a missile at over 3,000 miles per hour. This is the very goofy and very buggy LOSAT. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is probably the most unique and definitely the most weird vehicle that Gaijin have ever added into an event. Now, I got into this video making it knowing that it would be a very niche vehicle and probably not very good, but it's very buggy and we're going to explain why. First of all, let's cover this thing's missile. It's a kinetic penetrator and not a chemical penetrator that doesn't get to its maximum amount of penetration until it's at a thousand meters, except that it's kind of buggy and you can pen anything pretty much point blank. This comes at a cost however, if you hit a wall or a tree or a fence it will stop this missile dead like it's a chemical round. I don't know why, it's just that way. But by far this vehicle's worst trait is the missile itself's flight pattern. Uh, let me just show you. Well there's two coming, three. God this is... Oh, I actually hit that guy, but didn't do nothing. Hit. Okay, this isn't working out very well. The missile's too wiggly. I got his fuel tank. There's a guy at the bottom now. <laughs> I don't know, why is it so wiggly? Which, strangely enough, is in stark contrast to where we are on the test drive where it flies perfectly straight. Now I'm not one of Gaijin's developers but the fact that there's no ping on the test drive means that it's probably something to do with server side that makes the missile so wiggly but it's really infuriating to use. Now if things with the missile weren't bad enough you have zero degrees of any sort of vertical guidance whatsoever so if you're slightly angled down the missile will hit into the floor and if you're slightly angled up the missile will go up into the sky and if the enemy's close enough he'll just fly over the top. You also have limited turret traverse, meaning that you cannot turn your turret a full 360 degrees, making it very awkward in some moments. And because you can't be precise about where you're aiming the missiles against enemy vehicles means that sometimes it takes multiple hits to take them out. You only have 12 rockets, and when they're done, you have to go to a cap to reload, and that takes over a minute. Now with any tank destroyer, your maps are really limited on city maps and things like that. This missile does not perform well, so you're really limited to the bigger maps in War Thunder, and there aren't very many of those turn up in rotation for some reason. The thing that makes this all annoying is it would actually be an okay tank destroyer if the missiles would just fly straight like they do in real life. So I have no idea what's going on with this thing. Maybe it will get fixed. Maybe not. Now a bit of a rant about this thing's battle rating at 10.3. I think it's very high for a vehicle that's as limited as this one is. And if this thing was Russian, the missiles would probably fly four times faster, do twice the amount of damage, and they would just be much better, and probably at the BR of 8.3, much like the Object 279. The good news however is, at least it's not a copy and paste F100. <laughs> Let's get into battle, and I'll show you how I got on. Hold on a minute here, is our first map a good map for this thing? It's kind of like crappy weather too, so our thermals will work if we're against Russia because a lot of them don't have it. Let's go find out. So what I'm expecting is not good things. And we're just going to show this game no matter what happens. And to be honest, there might be a bit of a skill issue in what is going on with the missile. It's like, it sort of flounders, look. Okay, we're limited to turret traverse. This thing is incredibly fast, but very wiggly. I'm sure that's a bug, right? Has to be. Because it's not like this in real life. Wobbly, I mean. Okay, this is not good terrain for us, so we're gonna try and stay on this road. That other guy is getting smacked about silly. To be fair, the first thing we shot at, we killed it. So that's not too bad. What is it? Where is this guy going? Is he sticking to the outside? Also, these thermals are good. But, the, that uh, little storm thing was actually quite hard to see. The wiggly missile's giving me anxiety. Because it, at first I was like, yeah, this might be actually kind of viable in a map like this. And with it kind of wiggling about the way it was is not ideal. Oh, we got our mans. Oh, it's a... it's a Strela. That might actually be annoying to kill. 
So so far we could have killed those enemies with any vehicle as we are. Oh, there's Estrella. He's just peeking out here. Right, that hit the ground. That's not amazing. I would like it to not do that. On the test drive, they fly up all the time for me. Or at least they did the two times I tested it, and here it just smacked into the ground, so... Oh yeah, I see one. My missile's a bit wiggly to be hitting something like that, though. Through all those trees and stuff. There he is there, look. Hit the ground. I wonder if it's because my thing is, like, angled down the way, is it doing that? I can ping him. There's another one further out to the... This side. This guy's kind of hauled down. Alright, this is not going well. <laughs> He's in cover now, right? Okay, well... He already had a person missing from his crew, so that's good news. And now I've only got four missiles left. It's a problem with this map if you don't control that side. Oh, is that... Two helicopters. Is it... I don't know. Hold on, I need to, like... Fire it up and then control it in. Oh my god, it's so fast! It's so fast I can't guide it! My A-10 is up. Okay, he's exploded one of them. I'm not even gonna fire that anymore. Hey, but we got two kills in our first match and I... And, I did assist for hitting the dirt next to Astrella, so you know, it's not the worst. That's not good. That was also very cool though. Oh. That was so fast I couldn't hit it properly. Right, I know I've got one missile left to do to kill this guy. It's too wiggly. I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna have to go to B cap. This is gonna be another thing. How long is this gonna take to reload our missile? Is it gonna reload the whole rack? I think it's gonna reload the whole rack, isn't it? It's gonna be one of those things. And then we might have won this game by the time- Oh, actually we've got five SPAs. That's not great. That could definitely be better. Right, let's repair this and rearm. Oh my god. Gaijin, that's too long. If this is only one missile, I'm just gonna cry. My Captain Baguette is angry. It's very unlike a Frenchman to be mad. I need more bullets! The enemy are pretty angry at the aircrafts right now. Oh, there's a BMP-2 and a Tums coming. We may lose this still yet. Let's see if we can get ourselves into a half-assed position here over... We got a lab in the middle of nowhere. I'm actually going to need to back us up, right? Because the the way the missile is, I'm just going to end up firing the missile over the enemy's head. I just got BMP 2 M'd, which is exactly what's going to happen to me, I would imagine. Everything so far so good. I'm not I'm not stressing yet. I'm not stressing yet. They're on scene. And there's the BMP 2 I just arrived. On cue. He's... Oh, it was a Puma. Thank God, dude. That would have been ten times worse. Oh, there's a BMP over here. He's in the middle of the field. And I've got enough rockets to spam now. Where is he? Cheeky little bugger, where are you? I, I literally seen him in the field a second ago and then he's just vanished. It's a very passive vehicle. Oh, we're we'll getting A again. I wonder where that BMP went, dude. I'm so... Confused. Holy crap. Need to remember we weigh nothing. Oh, that SPA is out here too. Oh, the, the Leo just died to the AGS. And then a 2S, a Sprit just killed my teammate. Oh, BMP is up here. Which is a problem, because I'm facing the ground and... We know what happened the last time I was facing the ground, right? Where is this Tunguska? Oh, it's Estrella, he's dead. Hey BMP, where are you? Oh, you're up there. Okay. I, I have no idea how that killed him, but it did. Hey! That, that's a very scary thing we just killed there too. Alright, so it took us a long time, but we got four kills in our first match. Oh, another one. 
missed him. Totally normal response to... Try <laughs> it's uh, engine and radiator there. Oh, and I just got... I think that guy made a respawn that to us, or the, the BMP guy did. Yeah, I mean... Definitely not my favourite type of vehicle to play, but it wasn't useless. By any means. And we won the match against Russia. Alright, dude, we got a 10-3 game. Oh, after you, did. Oh, okay, yeah, you can just ram into me, big guy, Benjamin. Yeah, that's two people you drove into. I think uh, you can lay the blame on yourself for that one. First time, accident. Second time, stupidity. Oh, it's very exposed over this side, though. I guess we can kind of use this. The problem is we can get ammo ragged, right, on our missiles. That's no good. We have very limited firing arc. Nine oh one is attacking somebody over this way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. I see you. All right. Well, there you go. Third game. Right off the rip, we actually hit somebody. But I think uh, my wee guy is fighting a weasel over there, and I don't think I'm fighting a weasel with a. Oh, it's not a total B. It's a total A. Is that he's got? We've got a, a half decent reverse at least, so we can back out. Of Trouble, kinda. Oh, there's a BMP2M up here on the B cap. And there's a lot of bushes here. Oh, here we go. There's a man, but he's very close to me, so. Oh, never mind. We completely negated the fact that he was close to us by the missile just being the perfect distance away to hit him. Oh, this man is paying attention to me, it looks like. Okay, CB 9105. So far, I think any 10 3 vehicle could have done the exact same thing as we just did, but. Is it as cool? I don't know. Certainly, certainly better options. But not as style point, not as much style points, right? But we've gone 3 for 3 in this match, unlike the. What was that? Pradesh? In the other map we played, okay, I think these two guys just dumpstered each other. Oh, there's the little weasel is in behind that. I, I can't really help that VRCC. Oh no, there's a jet coming in. Where did it go? Oh, he's really low down here, look. Actually, is he flying towards me? He is flying towards me. A scimitar or something. I, I do have a 50 cal, but again, it's also limited on a fire and arc. I'm not really keen on this playstyle either, as you guys probably know. But this is the playstyle for this thing. Oh, there's our man. I just pilot sleep that guy. He's going to be very upset about that, I would imagine. But that's us now at four kills. So not useless. It's the. <laughs> it's what we're getting from this is not completely useless. And my teammates are completely farming this enemy team on the other spawn. I don't know why this map never got addressed. Because <laughs> it's not very good for that. Right, we've got rockets we can waste, so let's uh, let's knock down his cover. Oh, that's right, they're kinetics, they're not explosive. <laughs> oh, he's there, he's there. <laughs> that guy's gonna think I'm cheating, probably. You know, after that. Oh, there goes uh, Zephyr. He's been shot down by a 2A4. So it's not the French guy that we shot down. Oh, a ra ra racket and flag panzer. Roger. Advancing. Right, we advanced, dude. I kind of want to catch this Leo guy, but. Oh, hey, look at this. Wait. The, the later targets took a couple of hits. We got an ace! It's not a it's not a fun playstyle for me, right? But I'm actually surprised that it's not entirely useless except the really wiggly missile. Alright, dude, here we go. Japan is a very close range map, so let's see how we go on with this thing. This is gonna be one of these vehicles that if you do get it, it'll be in your lineup. And I've got lots of vehicles like this, right? It's in your lineup for doing quirky stuff, and then I never actually use it. Ever again. <laughs> Uh, there's quite a few of them. 
It's not like the, you know, like the Stoom Tiger where you can actually have a viable option like Rhine or something to clear out a whole flank. But this thing, there's like so many maps you're limited to that you're just better off with a normal Abrams. How am I even going to hit anyone here, actually? I can't. And now that enemy's dead on B, oh, there's two of them. But again, I can't see nothing. Oh, he's here. Okay. That was an accident, but we killed him. I think I could do better with like a... T-3485 or something. Just keep an eye this way. Oh, yeah, my teammate's shooting this guy, but... I don't... I don't see it. The weather isn't helping. There's another guy up on B. Okay, that, that light tank hasn't been punished for his movement yet. I tell you what, we'll cut across this way. Someone's up here. He's just chilling in this temple. But he's fighting my team, so... He, oh no, he's not distracted. He's right there. I'm a little bit scared now. And I don't really have the turret traverse to deal with him either. Unless we drive around this wall, which then I'm exposed from the front. Ah, we're just gonna have to go then. We're just gonna have to do it. He's alive here, but I don't have a shot on him. I ricochet him. Okay, his loader cannon breaches out, but it's a French thing, so he's got a 20 mil. Alright. Once again, just wishing I had a real gun. <laughs> and not a r hypersonic missile. Am I at least half safe over here or no? Probably not. <gasps> We're going. We're doing things. Anti-air over here. Oh, someone's coming up this way, but my missiles are going to dip down. He's coming up, kind of. I mean, he's thinking about it. Yeah, I need him to leave. Got another 20 mil on top of his turret. To if I'm higher up, is it going to help? I don't know. It's, it's a scary tank to push. Because not only have I got to hit him, he can just keep spamming with a 20 millimeter. If I just had a normal gun, he'd be dead. See if we can come up behind them. Oh. Enemy just fired from over here, but... Oh, that's not good. There's something just spawned in and he's spawn protected. It was like a part. <laughs> I mean, we, we still got three kills, but it, I, I feel like... Well, we're about to run out of ammo. Um, it bombs at us. Look at that conga line of... Teammates. I, I presume the guy on the uh, cab is dead. After all that. It's a very big bomb going for that guy. Oh, it was a flag there. There's two enemies over here in SPAs. Two ocelots. That's a lot of Sams, dude. If I was in a SU-25, that would have yellowed my nose cone. Anyway, GG. <laughs> they lost that, it's bad.
All right, dude. Well, this map kind of works, I guess. Oh, this is only single car. All right. I was not expecting that. Oh, her gun depression is really going to let us down here, isn't it? Well, that guy's decided against what he was doing. Unfortunately for us. This dude, however. There we go. We, we did a guy. Right. Hey, we did two. Oh, we're getting shot at. Let's see if uh, someone else wants to go that way. Where, where is that shot coming from? Up there? I'm actually a little bit... Worried that... Someone's got an angle on us. Well, we've capped the point, so that's a good start. I don't think anyone else is going to try and get up there. Yeah, well, you'd expect not, right? Okay, that chopper just crashed nose first into the ground. And my teammates are getting shot from behind. Alright, my teammates are getting whipped with BMP2 missiles, and I'm... I bet, uh, Oh, here we go. The man just tried to kill me. This is, uh, very wobbly. can't even guide them because they keep going they, they either go up or down or straight it, it makes no sense oh you have five left All right at least my abrams is here to back this up now Let's see if that abrams wants to come back right i just spotted another one actually two but if these were chemical i would shoot at roofs of tanks but they're not if these missiles were working properly, that Leo would be long dead. Long dead. And he got me. Is he getting punished for it? No, my Abrams is blind. Right, I, I guess you go again. I, I, I can't really use any other angle on this map because we're going to get shot going out this way, I think. I, I'll try. Oh, he's dead now. My lab just killed another one with H-Vars. There was a whole enemy push over this side. I can definitely hear a chopper. Yeah, there is one. I know it's dead in the kill feed, but it's not dead until it's actually hit the ground. There we go. And even then. Even then. Someone's shooting from up here. Oh yeah, I see him. Oh, that's going to be awkward. I just wish I had a normal gun, dude. You've got to fight for a weird position and then... you got to try and make the missiles... bend to your will. And not wobble. And hopefully they don't just fly into the ground. There's another thing. What's happening here? Oh, an A10. There's an anti that's scouted there. Let's see if I can help with this A cap. Probably not, but I'll try. That's a Puma. Oh, he's dead. I fired more than I had to because it was a Puma. Oh, hey. Oh, I actually can't aim at this guy yet. There we go. Okay, we kill each other. Well, I mean... Again, dude, it's just a case of... Is it better to have this low sat thing and all its drawbacks? Or... Are you just <laughs> better with a, a normal ass tank? Holy crap, dude. Oh, it's a... What'd you call it? Thingy. Dunguska. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not impressed with it at all. And I, most of it is Gaijin's incompetence. I don't know if I can even hide from a... Enemy's targeting radar. 
flying like this. I need a chevron. Oh, there's an enemy aircraft up. It's an SU-25, which I think uh, this missile is not very clever at taking out, is it? He's just been smacked a bit. Right, now I got Tunguska to deal with. Who has a, another plane he's probably concentrating on, or you would hope so anyway. I dropped both bombs just to make sure. Oh, he's temporarily invulnerable. Unlucky for me, I guess. Me too. Yeah, awkward. Right, so I think we can all agree this thing is broken right now and yeah, you need to fix it. It's really rubbish though that there's access to this because there's actually players that I've seen that have it that I don't recognise as content creators and there's ones for sale. So when they do events like this, I think they really should have the vehicles 100% working before they enter the game. I don't normally like to go back to vehicles that have been fixed too quickly, but if Gaijin fix this in the next couple of weeks, I would definitely do a redo on this thing because there's opportunities to be made to have fun with this vehicle. It's just right now, the missile's too wiggly. Shout out to everyone who uh, suffers with wiggly missile syndrome. Anyway, let's get this video rendered and uploaded so people can stress less about grinding this, I suppose. And as usual, a huge thank you to everyone who supports me over on Discord and Patreon. You guys are lifesavers. I really appreciate it. To all the tier 3s on Discord, to get a shout out. That's Ari Sexy, Crowbran, White Wolf, Osa the Dead, Bofi, Cookie Burb, Distari, Felix Germ, Goose Belly, Master Zaint, Mushy Boy, Rusty, Satan Karma, Stoyan, Toast McGee, War Daddy, Rick Wolf and Zig. And to everyone over on Patreon, the Sickness Win, Matthew S, Cryogen, Cookie Muncher, Paul Hendrick, FTM Watermelon, Shane McGuire, Ahenius, Anderson, and Brandon AK, The Flying Pickle, MB1 Kenobi, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Love of Weasel, Rage, Shaft, Tactonics, Tanks Gone Well, The Anomaly, Vanny, and Mortan, and David, Pyrophoric, and the one, the only, Rosalini. And to everyone else still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye.